dug down three feet and it's an artillery shell. My heart's beating like a thousand miles an hour right now. Got a banger right here. And I see some brass right on the surface. Right there. Let's see what it is. I don't know what that oh it's a little buckle. Okay. I'll get it cleaned up and show you okay so I cleaned it up and it's definitely a period Civil War period uh, buckle maybe a cappy buckle it may be a little too big for that I'm not sure anyways nice little piece of brass there Sounds like a bullet to me. A little scratchy. Let's see if we got it out of the hole. Definitely got it out of the hole. There it is right there on, on the top. And it is, looks like a 44 Colt pistol bullet. I've been digging quite a few of these things lately. All right, oh wait a minute. Yeah, I think that's a 44 coat. All right, good deal. Okay, I just dug that coat pistol bullet, and I thought I was gonna have a shotgun shell right here on the surface. It's like maybe half an inch deep. And looky here, it's a little button. Let me get it cleaned up. I think it's a staff officer's button. I'll get it cleaned up and show it to you. Okay, it is 100% uh, a staff officer's button. Just the front. The back is gone. It's likely not down there, but I'll check for it. All right. How cool is that? Okay, so I was wrong. It is down here. I do believe. Most definitely. Right there it is. Still has the uh, the shank on it too. All right, I can glue that little dude back together and stick it in the case. Right on. I don't know about you guys, but I love to find period glass and stoneware and porcelain and things like that. Uh, so the Union Army would have dumped um, a lot of uh, medicine bottles and different things like this, beer bottles, wine bottles, I guess. And But you can definitely tell that that is old. I love it. So I got a good 81, 82 signal on the AT Max right here. Thought I was gonna dig a can, but it's a tent rope tightener. Civil War period, I'm sure, because I know that they uh, camped right around here so sometimes they have a patent date on them but this one doesn't but i'm sure it's period awesome little relic there i thought i was going to dig a silver coin out of this plug but looky here it's a little brass buckle there was a house here in the 1800s i'm sure that this could have been it could have been a belt buckle uh 
or maybe some horse tag. Who knows? I'm in a spot right now where I found a lot of bucky balls, and it's like in a big line uh, where they just, I guess they spilled out of a, a wagon or something like that, but they're fun to dig. Let's see how many I can pull out of the ground. Okay, you can see my holes here, which I'm gonna fill back up. Anyways, there's there's probably hundreds of these. I dug a handful of them here. They're fun to dig, just a lot of work because they're deep. We'll see what else we can find. Okay, got a fairly shallow signal here. And voila, 58 caliber round ball with the buckshot still fused to it. It's been probably five or six years since I found one of these. Well, I only found one before, but let me get it cleaned up. Well, it's gonna require a little more cleaning than what I thought, but heck yeah. So generally when I find a dropped bullet of some sort, I always check the hole for more. Well, I have another signal right here next to the one I just dug. And I believe there's another one here and another one over here. So let's check it out together. And I'm right on top of it here. So. I think I can feel it. Well, that right there, I believe is gunpowder. That's always a good sign. A little deeper than I thought. Okay, so I just pulled another one out really deep and I'm still getting some signals in there. Well, I'm walking back to my truck, but there was a trench cut along this road and I just happened to, my first swing down inside this ditch, I didn't think anything would be here. Just pulled out a mini ball. Dropped a mini ball. I wanna keep looking, I'll show you if I find anything else. Okay, still hunting along the ditch here. And I got a booming signal right on, where's the ditch? Right on top of the ditch. Reading 68, 70. I'm gonna say that's a mini ball. Let's dig it together. All right, I feel it, I think. Oh, no, that's not it. Now I feel it. Okay, here it is. Definitely a mini ball. Let's see if we can find some more. All right. So I dug the last one right there. I just walked up here on top of the road. Same signal right here. Let's dig it together. Not very deep. There it is. Must be a little spill right here. I'll keep looking in the same spot. See if we can find some more. Okay, so I dug a few mini balls, or a little spill right there across the road, and got a some scratchy signal here. And I think that may be another one. Let's open it up together.
think it's a mini ball. I think it is. Hmm. Interesting. I think it's period. Let me get it cleaned up. Okay, got it cleaned up. I definitely believe it's period. I'm not sure what the variety is, but nice little pistol bullet. So I've come back to a spot today where I got a signal. I was 90% sure it was an artillery shell, but I didn't have time to dig it. So I've come back today, dug down three feet, and it's an artillery shell. My heart's beating like a thousand miles an hour right now. I'm out of breath. I'll show you the hole and I'll show you the shell once I get it out. I don't know what kind it is. It may be a Hotchkiss, it may be a Confederate reed. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. So there's the hole filling up with water. It's about three feet down. And I'll get back to you as soon as I get it out. I got it out of the hole. It's a Confederate reed shell. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Lord. Truly, thank you, Lord. I'm in shock. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. I'll get this thing cleaned up and I'll share with you guys oh, some pictures and videos. But for right now, I'm just going to sit here for a minute and keep thanking the good Lord because he truly, it's all by him. He leads me to so many great things and I want to give him all the glory for it. This is so great. See you soon. Our lives, lives will change forever. Where the floods took our fathers and mothers, we go to remember the day we were.